Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air Conditioning and uh, we are looking at a Carrier Infinity Heat Pump Condenser, the 25 VNA8 48A003. So that's a four ton, five speed Infinity Condenser. Uh, and this is matched inside with a recent video I just did of the uh, variable speed Infinity fan coil. Um, so this does the upstairs of this house. Uh, we just installed this one. Um, on Monday, we're gonna come back and do the other one, which is sitting right here. Also a four ton system for the downstairs. Um, so on this unit, just a couple quick notes and I'm gonna kind of walk around into the garage and show you what we're gonna do on Monday. But right now on this one, it measures 31 by 31 is the footprint. And then from the base to the top, it's about 39 inches high. It sits on a 32 by 32 inch pad. Um, for the wiring on this, uh, the control wiring is only two wires. So you can use existing control wiring from an old condenser. Uh, there was a 30 year old unit that was here before. Um, it uses a 40 amp two pole breaker on the panel, um, which they already had. So it just adapted very well. It is five speeds. So right now we are at the highest speed. The decibels on this will range anywhere from about 68 on the high, which we are at now, down to about 58 on the low. So um, right now we are in a heating mode. We're heating the house because it is cool weather right now in California. We just had a whole bunch of storms. Uh, it's about 60 degrees today, finally a little warmer. Um, so this is doing a great job heating the house. Like I said, on Monday, we're gonna come back and do this unit. Um, now I'm gonna take you over to the garage which we're going to do on monday and i'm going to show you an existing uh furnace and coil that we're going to change out and put a fan coil in and kind of go through what that all takes so in this garage here we have your traditional gas furnace right here and we have your traditional evaporator coil which was matched with an ac condenser outside so what we're going to do is we have this carrier fan coil right here. Um, this measures uh, 54 inches total height, and then it's gonna be 22 this way and 22 this way. And we're gonna put a filter rack underneath and it's gonna be a 20 by 20 filter on this. So when we take all this out, the new fan coil will sit here and go up to about right there. And then we're gonna adapt to the ductwork on top. This flue vent that you see running here we're actually gonna take that out and we'll cap it right there. Um, the gas line that's coming in right here, we're gonna cap that. Uh, we've already brought the electrical over. Um, the homeowner actually ran that for us, so that was very nice. So we're gonna, we're gonna run that and we're gonna put a disconnect right on the side of the new fan coil right there. And that will make things very easy. So the, the electrical ran all the way across the garage like this and it runs Above all that over there, you can't see it, comes down right here into this box. It goes into the back of the electrical panel, which is right here. And as you can see, this panel is very loaded up. So for the upstairs system, we have the breaker for the fan coil and the outside condenser. This is the condenser breaker, which will switch out to a 40 amp. And then we're gonna steal the 220 dryer circuit to run the fan coil in the garage. And that's how we're gonna get power. So we're gonna switch all that over. Then he is getting solar. So you can see there's some solar stuff that's being ran on this house already. When the solar panel is done, we'll convert everything over to the new solar panel. Uh, that will be the new electrical panel right here. All the solar will be done and then he'll get back their 220 dryer circuit at that point, but that's gonna happen next week. So they'll only lose that for a week or two. If you are gonna convert to uh, an electric dryer someday, he would still have that. So we're gonna complete this job coming up on Monday. So I will do a video once that is complete, showing that we're taking all this out, putting this new carrier fan coil in. I'm gonna show you how we did it. I'm gonna show you the electrical, I'll show you, you know, the drains, we're gonna to adapt to the drains. Refrigerant lines, we can reuse, we flush those out. And then we're gonna to adapt to the plenum, which is above the ceiling that you can't see here. So make sure that you uh, leave any comments in the section below if you have questions about this. Um, or uh, also like my page and subscribe to my page uh, so, so I can make more great videos like this for you guys. And uh, I thank you very much for watching.